Don't miss our first narrated radio story, this holy week you will enjoy a heartwarming story, that you will be remembering a popular Bible story. It's an story narrated while La Cantata del Diablo of Mago de Oz is transmitting, enjoy this reflexing story with characters of crossover mix. This story is based on the known Bible story of David and Goliath, in this case David is portrayed by Huckleberry Pie and Goliath, by Mega Knight, Huck vs Mech, the crossover mix never told story. Once in a further past, Princess of Clash commanded Knight, Prince and Dark Prince work in a hot day in a place like a desert, they were working with wheat and other cereals and then making their own food with a mill, working and making their own food with commandments of the princess, all afternoon long. But when night fell, a cold fog came and the residents were very cold. Princess notified Raspberry toward that she have to come with some warming clothes. Raspberry noticed her walkie-talkie and told the princess that she will come with warming clothes that she was making. Then Raspberry comes with cherry jam, blueberry muffin, strawberry shortcake and lemon meringue. Raspberry is warming the Clash residents. But something unexpected happened, Lemon Meringue put a giant lemon like a sun and warmed up the day, it was so sunny, then the Clash residents were too hot, and Raspberry and the Princess started a fight that lasted too much time. Then Raspberry called to two boys of Disney Eleven to condemn the princess in a kind of prison under the mounts, obviously telling that if she wanted to be free, some of her relative had to win a battle. And that the reason that Strawberry Shortcake and her girls had to fight Huckleberry Pie against Clash residents that had to fight the Mega Knight. It sounded massive for the people. Raspberry had made a costume of Christ for Huckleberry and the knight found a giant red sash for the Mega Knight, that because the fight was to accept the god Barrican. The moment had come, meanwhile Huck and Mickey were training for the grand fight, a moment that strength and skills had come to know who wins the battle. A brawl started. Lol Dolls, Disney 11 boys and the rest of the characters were watching the fight. When fight started Huck was explaining to Mickey things about his life and he wanted to win and then Mickey explains him about his dreams and he wanted to burn his soul. But suddenly, Samson advisor explains to both brawlers about the things that Satan made, necromancy, magic that the wizard appeared like background and tarot that the background was the Capricorn logo, and then this strong man explained about he was the virtue of the church and its principles and explained about Capricorn will break if both brawlers deed and regret. The fight was massive. Huck fighting with MK was a real challenge for him, a simple boy that fight with a strong giant brawler was so hard for him, the population had no freedom because there was no god nor princess, and that because Huck cried a little bit while he was fighting. But suddenly MK skipped the fight, because he didn't want to damage Huckleberry, but then Mega Knight listened to his walkie-talkie, and it was Huck talking about the fight telling him why he left.
but next time he become stronger than the previous row and started fighting but harder, and then Huck showed to MK a Kindle to refer the coffin of God Barakin. Then MK shows his spiky glove telling him before he probably was defeated if he accept God Barakin in his church telling him the princess is the mother of sin and horror. The fight looks like there is no stop, and MK with Huck brawling is so heavy and heart-wrenching to see, because MK is too strong beside Huck. The brawl looks like it has an ending, MK strongly beats Huck and Huck ends defeated. But Huck spits a huge saliva portion that the ice wizard freezes and then the frozen saliva falls into MK eyes and MK is defeated too. And then, both Barry Bitty Girls and Clash residents are getting sad after the double defeat. A dark midnight had made sadder the moment, because there was no help both for Huck and MK. Samson advisor advised the population that they have to do something like uplifting to start healing the brawlers. And then the uplifting thing that Strawberry and the Clash King are doing is play a flute to wake up after the defeat both Huck and MK, Strawberry played the flute for Huck, and Clash King played that for MK. The music seemed to have an effect. Strawberry and Clash King kept playing the flute until Huck and MK opened at least one eye. They kept playing while Samson Advisor was making a miracle to the population and suddenly after a long time playing flute, Huck and MK had a open. The three berry bitty girls that they are raspberry, cherry and blueberry were sad because Huck was unconscious and they started shedding tears. While Night, Prince and Dark Prince were crying about the Mega Knight defeated and reflexing about if they have a victory, they will save the princess, and reflexing about what was about the princess memories and saying if she was defeated, they will remember her like the god. Raspberry is hugging the knight, Cherry, the prince, and Blueberry the same to the dark prince but while they are hugging, they are crying and shedding tears looking for a new hope. Then Huck and MK are walking weakly, and then they are apologizing while they are hugging and crying. Then Strawberry Shortcake and the King are going to the princess prison, they walk with no exchange glances, each one its way. Then Clash King see the princess prison and the princess is explaining him that she is his god and all his positive things and telling him things for reflexing himself and saying her voice is for his soul, but then princess is making him imagine with his closed eyes that she is free and they're enjoying their free time like their normality time. Strawberry is getting mad with Clash King because Strawberry DOES and want the princess be free. Then, Furious Strawberry starts punching Clash King on his face and telling him that he has to forget his daughter, and she keeps punching him for about four times. Clash King seems to not accept forgetting his daughter, he is so depressed. When Strawberry punched for the last time Clash King, he started crying about he will sleep so as not feel pain, but he seems too painfully sad if he forgot his daughter, and he keeps crying and calling.
then the three berry bitty girls notify with a walkie talkie to apple dumpling in this case this girl was a doctor because her color is like hill spell of clash to heal and cure huckleberry after the defeat the same to clash residents they notify the healer walkie talkie to heal and cure mega knight Apple Dumpling is giving to up apple juice like healing spell while the three remaining Berry Bitty girls are advising about his next skills, while Hitler is healing MK, and the royal members are advising the same to MK. Next to the healing and advising, both Huck and MK are getting entertaining by some LOL girls and 11 showboys playing some air instruments, while these both brawlers are healing, showing first they are playing to Huck and then to MK. Then, both Huck and MK are getting results that they are healing after a good period of days. After that, they remember the spell prescription. Huck has his prescription written by Apple Dumplin. In MK, the his, written by Healer. After they healed completely, they were buying the spells and they made a bit of running to activate their body. They are buying not just spells, they are buying power mushrooms too. The prescription said that they have to drink rage, heal, haste, freeze, lightning, jump, and for the mushrooms the Mario growing mushroom the fire and freeze flower and the giant size mushroom. However, they leave their fears behind and they start drinking the clash spells. Puck drinks two bottles of rage, heal and jump, and the rest one bottle, but MK drinks five high spell bottles, and the others, about of three bottles, but MK is not just drinking spells, he is sharpening his two metallic spiky gloves to get better attacks. Then they start to work out because they want to be brawny for the next battle. They start doing fog jumps, and then MK trying his sharp spiky gloves looking that he can beat Huck, and Huck looks for strategies that MK could be defeated, like flipping, or jump and hit. Both brawlers start planking and flexing their arms punching box bags, Mega Knight is checking that his gloves are sharp. And doing some sports like swimming, and other exercises like stationary biking and gliding machine, all of these exercises are just for gain muscle in their arms. Then they keep working out all the sessions, even they are lifting weights, and recharging themselves with more spells when they feel weak. After a good time of workout session and spell drinking, the Brellers built their body too strong. They were running in an almost night sunset, until they encountered, but a bit far when a nightfall came, they were ready. Samson advisor made the call like the beginning of a new fight. The fight consisted in rescue the princess of the prison or be free with the god Barakin because the population didn't have freedom. Huck was wearing the Jesus Christ costume while Raspberry, Cherry and Blueberry were giving him good vibes and he was saying that the end of this princess too soon will be coming, while he was tearing a photo paper of her and he screamed that his voice will be awake, but MK didn't give up. He punched a god Barakan image while he was imagining that he was jumping onto the Barakans because he was thinking that he had beaten the fight and got free the princess. But after that the fight started, and Huck and MK started to fight, 
all of that because the population wanted to know who people will be free. The fight sounded too epic, but no results with original sizes. Huck increases his size like the Mega Knight and Mega Knight duplicated his size and that was so but so epic to see. The ring was shrinking beside these brawlers. The battle continued with too much punches and attempts to make that. Next to that the brawlers triplicated their size and fought like they're no tomorrow, the public had to apart further. However, Huck and MK were punching face and balls and when Huck made too much punches to MK, MK looked like he was shrinking to his original size, but at the end of the fight when Huck started whirling MK, he started shrinking to his original size, the public was astonished, from Raspberry, Cherry, Blueberry, Knight, Prince, Dark Prince, Strawberry and Clash King to the secondary public like LOL Girls and Eleven Show Boys. After Huck's ban to whirl MK, MK flew out tens of kilometers and he was whirled by tornadoes, which drove him away, more miles. However, he is not giving up, because he ran more miles and then, he made a mega jump in flag position that it was for about 15 kilometers, he jumped because he wanted to defeat Huck, but when MK was 5 kilometers to hit Huck, Huck started expelling his rage and his spells in the style of Kame Hamha of Dragon Ball, but when MK reached where Huck was, Huck defeated MK like he never imagined. After the Mega Knight defeat Barry Bitty Girls celebrated too happy the victory of Huck Ulberry and Clash residents were suffering, and it here that Clash King started shedding tears. He started hiding his tears but when Raspberry and Cherry brought each one a gold cup, Raspberry and Cherry put the cups and Clash King started crying into the cups, and then Blueberry is too happy over the King and Raspberry and Cherry started cheering the King tears. After the victory, Huck, in this case looking like 30 year old remember the battle and he saw comics that the princess was executed by a guillotine and that he saw the princess grave, and the princess, knight, prince, dark prince. King and Mega Knight are dead in hell, and then, he saw all his memories like comics. He was like a priest with a host and wine in his Catholic house. Huck was a new Catholic priest, and then, he was down with his knees and he started praying, but first he ate the saint host soaked in wine, and when he started praying, he said that humanity is dying and then he says that the king had to leave his throne and then go to visit hell that MK, Princess and all Clash Universe are in that horrible place, and he was saying that in this place the wars are worse than the others that this king was making and planning, and he will be finding hunger and unfairness. And he stayed explaining about the world is getting worse and worse and the people is getting worse and worse like sadness, hunger, sickness and dictatorships and he was explaining about the negative effects of bad people like pederasty, inflation, weather changes, or even the next worst war, and he was telling and reflexing about just one person that he wants to help, it just enough. He was saying about what is the new kingdom of the king, he said that will be Vatican, kingdom countries or even Russia because he thought he will be a new czar, but Huck said his kingdom is Nigeria, Ethiopia that this two countries he was shown in these countries wearing a safari clothing. Colombia that he was wearing a Latin clothing, Hiroshima that he was wearing a war clothing. However after he was imagining he was in these countries, then he imagined he was walking in the Clash of Clans arena explaining more reflexive messages, and he was planning to create a new god fairer than god Barakan. Then Huck leaves the Clash of Clans arena and he steps on a Clash arena with no people same as the COC arena, and he keeps explaining about his new imaginary god that he wants his imaginary god would be an actual one that he would live the rain, wind and he would caress physically, Huck keeps imagining his imaginary god that he wants to his god would be more human and he wants his god teaches instead of punishing, a nice god with all his environment, a god that he would help all people in trouble, fallen people, lost people, and he wants his god could understand him because god Barakan gave him smartness. Then Huck is explaining about what happened with god, did god died, Huck is saying why god left us and forgot us, telling him that he is deaf, blind and inactive. Huck feels empty with no god. Ecstatic underrated music radio. Discovering 